back to my channel. Today I am going to do a video that I just spent all of yesterday looking for and I could not find a helpful one so gosh darn it I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I am leaving in the morning to go to Korea kind of on a last minute whim. If you don't know me, hi I'm Mikkel. I'm also an actor amongst 20 other things and I just booked a shoot in Korea and that's typically pretty last minute. So here I am scrambling trying to get everything that I need to do a cross the world trip in a very short notice. <laughs> I have done quite a few international flights. I've been to probably, I don't know, eight or nine different countries in Europe. I have never been on a flight to Asia. This is going to be a 14 hour flight direct. I'm terrified of airplane bathrooms. I'm an economy. I'll probably have a metal seat and I wanna be as prepared as possible. I'm going to show you everything that I am taking in my carry-on bag for my flight tomorrow. I have tried to think through every possible scenario of things I might need. And hopefully if you have a big trip coming up soon, even if it's just, you know, a long road trip, any sort of trip, hopefully this will help you think of what to have in your bag with you in case you need it at all times. The first thing I want to start with, where did I put it? Before we get into the bag, I actually bought this just for this trip. I knew this is going to be an overnight flight. I'm probably gonna have to try to sleep on the plane. So, oh, also, I didn't apologize for my hair yet. Um, I just got out of the shower. I don't have time to style my hair. I got a lot going on. <laughs> Sorry. So I actually found this at Target. This is a Sherpa jacket, but you know how most Sherpa jackets are like so soft on the outside, but then inside have a lining? What is the point? I want it to feel soft. I saw this actually in a vlog a few weeks ago at Target, and it's one of the first Sherpa jackets I have found that actually has like the fuzzy, cozy softness on the inside too. And so I went back and I bought it for the plane ride because it's like sleeping in a blanket. It's basically like a socially acceptable Snuggie. So I picked up that. I'm fully intending on it being my, my human blanket so that I can comfortably sleep. I'm also always freezing, so it's nice to have extra layers. Now let's get into my backpack. I love this backpack, it's a Herschel. I like how there is a pretty big front pocket for all of your necessities. My only complaint is I wish there was a water bottle pocket on the side. That I do miss pretty dearly. Otherwise, I do love this backpack. It's sleek, it's gender neutral, it holds up against the test of time. Let's talk about the front pocket first. This is where I'm keeping all of my essentials. I've decided to not bring my purse. I'm gonna take this with me everywhere, even to set, because I don't know if I'm gonna need any of these things while I am on set. So just to be as prepared as possible, I'm just gonna take this guy everywhere and not have to worry about a backpack and a purse. So in my front pocket, I tried to put things that I will need the most frequently. I have this, this is a little traveler's wallet I actually got inside of a cause box. And inside of it, I have my passport, a couple credit cards, and my ID. There's also room to put your ticket once you get your tickets printed out, and a couple other things up here. One thing that I'm actually having my husband Brooke print while he's out right now, and bring back to me, because I am out of printer ink, is I found this. Basically, it's a website that translates if you have any allergies into whatever language you need it translated into. I have celiac disease, so I'm printing out these little, these little cards that say in Korean, like, I have celiac disease, what it is, please make sure this food has no soy sauce, no wheat product of any sort, no barley, no rye, no, all of that. So it explains it, and I'm planning on putting that and one of these as well. And I have gum. I bought a ton of gum. I need to unwrap this. I chew so much gum on the plane. It helps me pass the time and it helps my ears not feel as clogged. I have a couple pens. I know when you travel to a different country, you have to fill out, what is that paper called? Where you basically say you didn't bring anything illegal. And I brought two in case one doesn't work, always have a backup, that's important. Then I bought Clorox wipes. They just have these mini packs at Target. It has nine wipes. I bought a second one to put in my suitcase in case I need it for the way back. It, it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. And I smelled it to make sure. It smells clean. It does not smell bleachy. It's actually bleach free. That is good. I wanted to make sure that if I use it, it doesn't like stink up the whole plane. I think it has a pretty pleasant scent. Definitely gonna use that to wipe down everything I can. The touch screen, the tray table, everything. I cannot get sick on this trip. And in that same regard, hand sanitizer, critical. Need to use it every single time you eat or drink anything on the plane. I'm not usually a germ freak. I am on a plane. I have an autoimmune disease. I get sick very easily. I get sick almost every time I fly. So I try to do everything I can to not. Husband stole my earphones. This is in here to remind me to get them back from him. I have a pair of wireless earphones 
that I store in this case. I need to make sure it's all charged up tonight, good to go for tomorrow. So I need to put those in here in the front pocket because I will most definitely be using it. It's almost it. Last thing is a favorite lip balm. My lips get very, very chapped on flight and that is one of the things I reach for most frequently besides gum. I actually picked up some more of this. This is my favorite lip balm of all time. It's called Smith's, which is cute because that's my new last name. This one is menthol and eucalyptus balm. It's very hydrating. It's kind of Vaseline-y, which I actually have Vaseline on here too, but we'll get to that. So that is my main pocket of essentials that I will reach for very frequently. Now let's jump to the inside. Obviously on the inside in the laptop pocket, I have my laptop. That is very important. I am planning on getting as much work done as possible and I have some tricks for that that I will get to in a minute. And what I like to do inside a backpack to keep it as organized as possible is I have little different, they're pretty much all dock kits, but I have a ton of little different bags in here to make sure that when I need to find something, I can find it easily. So I know this is electronics, this is snack, this is beauty, and this is like health and wellness. So that way, if I'm like, I really need blank, I just know which bag to grab out of my backpack and I don't have to sit there with my head like over my lap trying to find what I need. I can just pull this out real quick and find what I need on my tray table or whatever. So let's go through each of these. Let's first go through my little techie electronic <laughs> bag. In here, I have obviously phone cable. In this phone cable, I like it because it has two USB ports. I also have another cable to charge my power bank. So I looked up the aircraft ahead of time. I'm pretty sure each seat comes with a port. I'm really, 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 really praying that that is true. But if not, I have this. This I think holds probably about three charges on it. This is already all charged up, but if I need to also recharge that, I could be charging my phone and my power bank at the same time. Next, I have my camera battery and camera battery charger. I will be vlogging this, so I need to have backup batteries in case something goes wrong. I have this guy, I don't even know what to call it. I recently bought a new MacBook and it doesn't have any of like the little ports. It doesn't have a um, SD card slot. It doesn't have a USB slot. So this is just a little converter. It converts every single thing. So I could plug in both my hard drive and my USB to the same little, what is this called, USB-C? The little guy, the new little guy. Plug it all into one of those. Speaking of my hard drive, I actually don't often use my hard drive, but I went ahead and backed up my computer onto my hard drive just for this trip. My computer, all of the things that I need to edit saves to the cloud, which is fine when you have Wi-Fi, but I don't know if I'm gonna have Wi-Fi or not. So I went ahead and backed up every single thing I need to edit, every song, every intro, every title, every thumbnail, everything I could ever need onto this so that if I don't have Wi-Fi, I can still edit. And then if my computer runs out of space, I'll just save it to this and then upload it to YouTube whenever I have internet again. Next is so important and thankfully very cheap. I picked up a few of these power adapters I don't know why the US has its own everything. It has its own system of measurement. It has its own, well, I guess everybody has their own currency, but it also has its own power little port things. What are they called? So I got an adapter. I picked up a pack of three of these for five bucks. I'm just keeping them in here. It's a Korean airline, so I don't know what type of power port will be on the plane, but I got that just in case. Okay, and to be safe, oh, this is the modern type. I need to get the old type. I have another pair of earbuds in case I need to listen to anything else, um, like the little plane thing, but I grabbed the wrong ones. This one has like the new USB thing on it. Let me grab the, here's the ones I meant to grab with the little old, you know, throwback type earphones, but I'm also bringing this lightning headphone jack in case I then needed to plug it into my phone, whether that be my wireless ones die and I can't charge them or whatever that might be. So this plus this should work with almost any device. That was a lot of electronic things. Let me pack this back up and we'll move on to the next. Bye beauty thing. This contains every single like skincare, makeup, whatever thing I might need during the flight. So I'm definitely planning on flying makeup free and just when I land or whatever, doing whatever I need to do. So I might just do a little quick concealer brow type thing. So I brought both of those, concealer, brow, easy peasy. I got this little travel size spray deodorant. I figured if I'm like in the bathroom or whatever, this is like a quick, easy way to just freshen up real quick. And it was actually significantly cheaper than the mini deodorant of what I usually use. 
there we go. That should hopefully help me feel a little fresh on the plane. Then for skincare, I brought, I've been using BioClarity for a while now, not sponsored. I brought their Hydrate Skin Smooth that has the Floralux, the Argan, and the olive oil. Something oil-based will be helpful on the plane since it's so, so dry. And I also went ahead and brought the Restore, which is just their Floralux thing. It's full of nutrients, so I'm hoping that that will help my skin on the flight. If my skin is extra dry, I'm bringing this teeny tiny little ultra hydrating facial oil from Good Molecules, mostly because it's so small. It's so small, so it fits in here very nicely. It's also great, like I get really dry around here to just be able to put some on my fingers and hopefully hydrate that right up. I have never tried this, but I went ahead and picked up the little trial size version of, it's literally called the Jet Lag Mask from Summer Fridays. I think you could also use it as an overnight mask. Don't quote me on that. I've never used it before. It's kind of like a lotion-y face mask. Let me see. So I think you can leave it on kind of for as long as you want. I'm fully planning on using this to hopefully help rehydrate my skin. I bought these teeny tiny little, I know the packaging is really bad for the environment but just a few of these little single makeup wipes to save space just in case I feel like I need to wipe down my face and then start fresh with new moisturizer or whatever that might be. So I just put a little three of these little guys in there and I'm hoping that this might help if I'm super duper puffy. It just helps. It's like a little face massage tool to help drain your face to your lymph nodes if my face is super puffy. And I will basically be getting on a plane Monday morning, getting off a plane Tuesday night, and then Wednesday morning having to wake right back up and go to set. I'll probably need all the help I can get. I have a little tiny mini Vaseline. I feel like this is always good if something's exceptionally dry, whether that be your lips or my nose gets really dry and I don't wanna put my like menthol eucalyptus lip balm on my nose. This is random, but it's just a teeny tiny little floss. Just in case, you never know if something's gonna stick in your teeth annoy the crap out of you and you don't want to be like that person on the plane. And last but not least, for my beauty, I have these little pimple patches. I actually also put a couple Q-tips in there as well. But these pimple patches are like my go-to. I have been getting really bad breakouts on my chin lately. And so what I do is I take a pimple patch and put it on there and it actually sucks out all of the oil while keeping it protected and keeping you from touching it and messing with it. And it really is a lifesaver. So if I have something pop up on the plane, I could just stick the sticker on there and forget about it. Forget about it. Wow, I packed way more than I thought. My little health and wellness bag. I'm trying my darndest to not get sick. I bought a couple of these. I have used this one a bit in the past and I really like it. It's very similar to Emergency. I kind of like it better than Emergency. I think it tastes better and they're little tabs, which I think is a lot easier to put in a water bottle instead of trying to pour the powder. So this is basically Emergency. I got an immunity one and it has immune support. It says six stressed or on the go with complete electro lights and antioxidants, Noon is your back to balanced water. Next, I went ahead and got this Noon Hydration. This one says, it's mostly focused on like hydration, packed with electrolytes, strawberry lemonade. I know dehydration is like the biggest flaw with flying. I especially only drink out of water bottles because I am terrified of the water that comes from planes. I don't do hot water, I don't do coffee, I don't do ice cubes. Every single time I do, I get sick. Every single time I don't, I'm fine, it's crazy. I don't know if it's in my head or coincidental or what, but I feel like I could pop this into a water bottle and hopefully it can increase the hydration that I get from that water. Speaking of, oh, I need to take these. I bought these super expensive Ayurvedic immunity supplements for my wedding to make sure I didn't get sick traveling to my own wedding. And I didn't get sick, so I'm gonna take them again today and have some on the plane. It's basically just an immunity supplement. They were so expensive. A pack of 30 of these was $100. Only justified buying it for my wedding. It's all from herbs, and it says promotes a sharp immune system, balances the body against the challenges of the environment. Some good old fashioned lactase, just in case I have something that has lactose and it's too late. Once, I ordered a latte in the airport, and after halfway drinking it, realized it wasn't an almond milk latte, and then got on a plane, and felt like I was gonna poop myself. <laughs> That's a true story. I will never travel without these now. Alka-Seltzer, just in case I happen to get really nauseous or whatever, trying to be prepared. Also got a teeny tiny little Advil, just cause it's travel size and cute. These, critical, critical. 
These are caffeine pills. I know it sounds crazy. One of these has 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's like two cups of coffee in one of these. I always have these on set. Also helpful for travel. Oftentimes when you're on set, you don't know if they're gonna have access to coffee or whatever and if you feel really tired guess what you can't be you're not allowed to be tired you have to be focused you're working a 12-hour day you have to look refreshed and energized and do anything you can so caffeine pills are my savior especially with a 15-hour time difference i'm sure i'm gonna be so jet lagged so having these and not having to go try to find a coffee somewhere gonna be hugely helpful. I have a couple more things in my actual backpack. Then I'll quickly show you my snacks last because those are probably least helpful and um, most niche. In my backpack, I also have my camera case. Obviously my camera is recording this right now, but since I'm vlogging, I wanna make sure that it stays safe in a case. My computer charger, I have that separate only because it's huge. I think it's really nice to have all the cables and things in here so they don't get wired up. And since this is just one cable and won't get caught on anything else, I feel like it's fine to have it alone. And for trying to sleep, I did not think I wanted to keep this. I got this in a subscription box and I literally had it in my giveaway pile until this trip. This is a weighted eye mask and I feel like it will be helpful for sleeping on the plane. It looks ridiculous because it's so huge, but it is very heavy and it kind of, it kind of makes you sleepy just wearing it because it like pushes your eyelids closed and it's comforting in a weird way. I'm bringing it in its case so it doesn't touch any other gross things and then get on my skin. The case doesn't add that much extra weight or anything, though the thing itself is a little bit heavy. I am planning on buying a neck pillow when I'm there. I don't want to use the one we already have because it's Brooks and I feel like it's been so many places it's probably really gross. I'm just gonna buy a fresh one there after I'm already in the airport so it doesn't have to go through the belt and touch the same thing that everyone's shoes have touched and everything like that. I have a little jewelry satchel for whatever jewelry I have. This probably isn't helpful to most people, but when you're on set, you'll probably have to take off the jewelry you're wearing. I don't want to just leave my ring at home the whole time. I probably should. I just don't like going without it. So instead, I'm just going to pop it in this bag and have it in my backpack on me the whole time so that I won't lose it and it will be nice and safe. I have backup gum in the bottom of here and my house keys, car keys. I won't need these the whole trip but I will need them once I get back home, kind of important. That is everything in my backpack besides my snacks. If you wanted to see my snacks, stay tuned. If not, because that's not really as helpful, I love you, thank you for watching. I can't eat a lot of snacks. Uh, I can't eat the plain food. You can call a week in advance normally and request gluten-free plain food. I got my flight today. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, so it's a little too late for that. So instead, I try to think of snacks that are easy to eat and not stinky so that you don't annoy the people around you. I got these Brad's veggie chips. I got these in two flavors. One of them is broccoli cheddar. That one is stinky. So that one's in my suitcase for the hotel. This one's not stinky. It has tons of veggies. There's carrots, there's bell pepper, flaxseed, buckwheat, there's protein. It's just nice to have a savory snack on the plane. Never tried these before. They looked interesting. These are gluten-free protein crunchy cookies. There's 12 grams of protein in here. I don't think I'm gonna be eating much protein on this trip since I'm eating literally only packaged snacks for a week since I don't think I'll be able to really safely eat in Korea. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I have those little cards I talked about. Smart Sweets are my favorite. They're literally gummies pretty much made out of just fiber. There is 28 grams of fiber in this, and I bought one a day for the whole trip. When you're traveling, it's really easy to forget to eat fiber, and then after a whole week, you're like, I'm so constipated, and you're so miserable. I have a variety of different types of protein bars in here. We have a gingerbread RX bar. We have a Go Raw bar. I also like this one because it has a ton of flaxseed. Flaxseed, protein, healthy fats, tons of fiber. So good for you. I tried one of these this morning for the first time. They're all right. Simple Mills Soft Bake Dark Almond Chocolate Almond Flour Bar. I have a Kids RX bar only because these were on clearance. These were like 60% off, so I went ahead and bought them. It's the Berry Blast flavor. I bought a couple of these to try to drink as well. Since I am eating all packaged food, I'm not consuming a lot of good micronutrients from veggies, so I went ahead and bought a few of these individual amazing grass greens. Superfood. It has your daily greens 
plus plant-based caffeine for energy and wellness. It's lemon lime flavored. Okay, good, it's gluten-free. I saw the word barley and I was nervous, but it's just barley grass, it still says gluten-free. There's wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, spinach, spirulina, energy blend that has yerba mate and matcha. There is antioxidants, there's pineapple, carrot, cherry, maca, acai, beet, raspberry, flax, apple, digestive enzymes, probiotics, prebiotics. There's so many things in here that I'm hoping it'll help keep me a little bit healthy. I need to remember to eat these every day. And last but not least, I've never tried these before. It's basically cashews, flax seeds, sesame seeds, chia seeds, and then there's a little bit of sugar and cassava syrup to hold it together. It seems very calorically dense, which is actually what I'm looking for so that I can have the most number of calories and the least amount of space to try to keep me full. That's normally the opposite of what people look for, but for travel, that is exactly what I look for. So I have packed a ton of other snacks for my suitcase to eat when I'm actually there, but these are just things to have during the travel. Will I eat all of these? Definitely not, but I tried to have a variety in here based off whatever I'd be craving. That was so much information. Hopefully it's helpful. I could not find a video like this with everything that I wanted to think about packing for a long trip. So hopefully this covered all the bases. I know it's a little bit niche to me considering my dietary restrictions and things like that. But if you have any other helpful tips for our fellow viewers, comment them down below. I'm sure that they would love to know them from you, especially if you are a experienced traveler and I Gotta go pack my real suitcase now. So I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.